we think about this being hugely important for any individual working in the field of natural medicine. It doesn't matter what area you are in, because ultimately there is one thing in common, and that is that we will be seeing individuals who are chronically stressed. Now, in my practice, I would say that 90% of my patients or clients, maybe 80 to 90% of them, suffer with chronic stress. And there are obviously many reasons for that. But the fact is that our bodies are not designed to be exposed to chronic levels of stress. Stress is something that our body is there and equipped and ready to combat and to essentially cope with. But that should be bursts of stress. It shouldn't be stress that then simply doesn't go anywhere. The problem with chronic stress is that physiologically, lots of things start to happen when our body is in a stressful situation and in a stress response, that when we have been exposed to that for a long time, it starts to go from being beneficial to actually very, very harmful. So the longer and the more severe that chronic stress, the more impact negatively that that will have on the health of our clients. Now the adrenal glands first, just to remind you, are these glands that are situated on top of the kidneys. We can see there, we've got these glands that almost sit on top of the kidneys, a bit like a hat on top of somebody's head. The adrenal glands secrete these really important hormones, as we said, that are, that are involved in the stress response. We've got adrenaline and noradrenaline, which are incredibly similar. They just do ever so slightly different things. And then we've got cortisol. Now, adrenaline and noradrenaline basically prepare your body for that fight or flight response. And these are very quick acting, meaning that they cause the heart rate to go up, they cause your blood pressure to go up, they cause your pupils to dilate, they cause your airways to dilate. By doing that, adrenaline and noradrenaline prepare you to run. So if somebody's coming to attack you, God forbid, adrenaline and noradrenaline kicks in so that you have the capacity to run with lots of, with lots of visual field, with um, lots of blood circulating to your muscles um, and so on.